Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In my abstract, I mentioned that I will present uh, my subjective opinion, and I hope that uh, over time I will able to contextualize the topic from a different point of view, especially the topic concerned the 60s and 80s. However, my subjective opinion still remained, so I would like to apologize it won't be only a subjective opinion, by a really subjective opinion. So I hope this will serve as an alibi for my presentation. During the 70s and 80s, I participate and organized many happenings, exhibitions concerning the environment. And I was looking my way to address the modern art. And it was uh, opposition into the... It was opposition to unofficial art. So in the Western world, there was a critical view of the new art and a revision of postmodern discourse. So when I was in nature, and I was looking around. I was thinking that I am doing a really performing something. However, I wanted to isolate the art from the 60s and especially in the Czech Republic from other. However, I would like to provide wider perspective. In Olomouc, there was no gallery of art with a permanent exposition during the 70s or 80s. Instead of that, in the Vroom Street, there was a art gallery opened, which featured names of Charles Swolinski and others. I would like now ask you for a example this was the official representation of official art it was the it was the comparison of two different of two different opinions on art this is only to reminisce on the past. We put it all behind us. It is an uh, ideological point of view. And now we have a different point of view. And all the artworks of these authors are in the repository. And modern art was represented in public collections. And contemporary exhibition of Czech art there is a reflection of that environment. And we don't have the, the official and unofficial division anymore. And we have more simple ways of artistic work. And I hope this piece will end up safely in the repository. Let's focus after this general introduction to an action art. We don't have the lack, we have the, we don't have much information about this period. We usually collect information through the body of the performer, him or herself. And we were not able to really get the time frame and the emotional feelings per se. And we only were able to catch the spiritual spirit of the performer. And these photographs were represented as an artifact in museums. And they are reflected in a, that way in the history of art. 
they were formerly new. We have iconic photographs, which were marks to which marked the historical landmarks on a timeline. We also have to consider the aesthetic item of the whole system. We have existentialism of the art. And we, if we have a bodily action, we can't have a freedom. And the act of performance serve as a pure act. And it was a look into the life in the communism. If we go back when happenings started, we can see that we have a problem which is structured differently. Something. There is a border between life and art, and this should clean the art from the commercial influence. The documentation of the performative and action art is different, and these photographs are contextualized differently, and they have hidden connotations. In the further slides, I will provide my opinions and my subjective point of view. First, Hungarian happening was in Budapest in 1966. And he was inspired by Gebro and Dyer. And the conditions were really different. The first one was in a building that was rented and the art was considered a anti-state activity. Another slide shows similarity of the activities. It connects, uh, um, it shows old papers and manipulation with it. Uh, the action takes place in, uh, uh, the first action takes place in a gallery, uh, but Knižák uh, entered public space and uh, underwent the risk of uh, police intervention. The question is whether it's uh, uh, a coincidence or not. Uh, it's uh, uh, rem uh, go going away from a stereotype, it's a poetical playfulness. Uh, the Kaprov's the uh, events uh, were held uh, in galleries or in uh, private uh, land. Knižák's activities were in public space. Uh, Hapsots uh, is a different project uh, by artist Filko and Milnáčik. Their uh, attitudes, uh, their tendency towards social and critical uh, plane, irony, uh, this w all was an exceptional gesture. They wanted to transform the Kepro format into a more critical um, mm, resemblance. Um, the Slovak effort uh, is closer to the subversive philosophy of si situationists uh, rather than the poetic platform flux. Um, they use uh, poetic uh, language. Hapsots is more cli critical on the verge of sociology, politology. We mentioned different political contexts of the Eastern and Western uh, action art. Uh, however, trespassing certain s social standards led to political intervention on both sides of the Iron Curtain. Eugen Brictius was uh, mm, uh, accused of um, the crime of political crime uh, against our uh, workers 
It was uh, in 1967 and based of uh, witness uh, Jindři Chalopecky and Ivan Veskočil, he was later, um, he was not convicted in the end, he was released. Uh, uh, one year later, also Viennese uh, actionists uh, were uh, accused, but uh, fortunately they were also released. The utopia of uh, socially more uh, fair uh, society failed, uh, and this um, was um, shown later in individual performances. The existential context uh, was uh, completely different. Uh, burden uh, is critical towards uh, the uh, society of uh, um, 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 never mind, sorry. Uh, the Eastern Bloc uh, shows or expresses uh, the feeling of unfreedom in the totalitarian system. Um, we ask about, or they asked about the meaning of our existence. Uh, Shandor Pinche has a direct connotation to, uh, in, in the works, in the artworks of Shandor Pinche, the um, hammer. Uh, and the sickle um, has direct uh, connotation. Or uh, Hungarian artists also worked with the symbol of uh, five uh, point, five pointed star. Um, they, uh, when if they use snow, for example, they want to show the um, short life and the decadence. Uh, on the other hand, a star made of uh, cobblestones uh, associates uh, revolutionary protest. Poland, Yugoslavia, Slovakia, and also Russia uh, has ironic and uh, humorous reflections of visual uh, and meaning um, of the visual side and part of and the meaning of, uh, um, of the party party slogans and transparency. Uh, similar uh, events were or actions were organized by uh, British artist Keith Arnott and uh, Hungarian Andre Todt. Uh, the, the latter one uh, mm, focuses on uh, the critique uh, on the absurdity of uh, the obligatory uh, political manifestations. Uh, actions of Peter Weibel uh, are directed to the criticism of um, abuse of political power. The symbolism of uh, the control or silencing of free uh, expression by the state power uh, was manifested in a number of photo performances. Peter Bible criticizes um, the society of um, consumption and Americanization. Atalai uh, protests against the control of free speech. Uh, we can find this in uh, performances uh, everywhere across Central Europe. A direct reaction to unification and permanent control uh, of uh, public space was also public uh, nudeness of Tomislav Gotovac or Evi Patum. Uh, however, this was only a Photoshop. The reflection of the political situation uh, sometimes did not, uh, were not based on explicit symbolics. Uh, the fear from losing intimate space of a flat uh, was shown, for example, in Georgi Jovanovic or Jiří Kovanda. Uh, I don't want to discuss uh, further these events and the political context on, of these events because it, was, it would require more time. But the possibility of political reading, uh, I do not exclude uh, the possibility of uh, political meaning of these uh, actions.
ženského, respektive uh, feministického... The topic of uh, feminine uh, element in action <coughs> art uh, of Central and Eastern Europe is also Zatímco interesting. Andre Todd uh, uh, expressed uh, the Sena happiness Sena of making stamps. Uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, Natalie... Ladík, Katalin Nadík and Sanja Ivekovic uh, uh, were critical about the phallocentric uh, vision of uh, the world. Uh, manifest, uh, Natalie Benglis uh, was a mani uh, used a manifestation photo performances uh, for art form. And he self-portrait of Robert Morris. Uh, Jana Želipská uh, uh, when compared to the Western um, expression of feminism, uh, her, uh, her demonstration is uh, tame, but it has uh, hu some humor in it. In the end, uh, Koktejl. I would like to say that I mixed, uh, I made a Klasický cocktail of uh, experimentálních příměsí. Classic uh, resources, but also experimental admixture. I wanted to introduce a taste for perceiving, for thinking, for experiencing history of action art in a new way. It's a transformation of context, critical analysis, and uh, polemics of ideas. Action art is not dead, uh, but it must be revived with new forms of interpretation and new formats of presentations. For example, uh, by reconstruction of original ideas. In other words, this is a search for a method of how to uh, free the concepts uh, engaged in documentation. The Central European Forum uh, makes me very happy because of this. And uh, I thank you for your attention.